Jeff Rothorn for Get Out There Magazine. And I'm in Hamilton, Ontario for the 124th running of the Around the Bay Road Race. We just started, 30K to go. Although it was a cold and windy day, the skies were blue and the sun was shining. I've run the Around the Bay five times and I feel that the unpredictable weather at this time of year adds to the race day excitement. I'd say we got pretty lucky this year. Almost three and a half kilometers in, running with my friend Cynthia. Yeah. Everything's going well so far. We got a bit of a headwind here, but not too bad. Sun is shining, beautiful day. Thankfully, the roads were in great condition with no snow or ice on them at all. So we're just in the zone for the first leg of the relay, relay runners to pass off. So 10K. Good work, buddy. Good work. And uh, there's three person relay teams for the each run 10k roughly and uh, two person relay teams where they each run 15k. On Beach Boulevard, many runners work together to fight the headwind leading up to the lift bridge, which to me signifies the halfway point but also means that we are approaching the hilliest section of the course. So we're now on North Shore Boulevard. The wind is uh, pretty much gone now so that's nice. Starting to get warm, beautiful day, and on North Shore, there's a lot more uh, <laughs> spectator support, so it makes the time go by faster. The Around the Bay race is North America's oldest road race and an important part of Hamilton's history. Some of the previous winners have gone on to win the prestigious Boston Marathon. Whether you run the 5, 10, 15, or the 30K race, a finisher's medal at the Around the Bay represents hard work and dedication, especially since the training period leading up to the race is typically taking place during Canada's harshest months. Running into the first Ontario Centre to finish the race makes us all feel like we've done something special. There's an abundance of volunteers helping out on the course and at the finish line, making sure that all participants are well taken care of. Each runner is given a bag and invited to take a variety of post-run snacks before heading into the stands to meet up with the spectators, who also appreciate the rare opportunity to watch and wait in comfort inside the Coliseum. As usual, the medal and race kit were top notch. I also really liked the race shirt, which seems to be softer and even more comfortable than in previous years. This is Jeff Rothern for Get Out There Magazine, wishing you happy trails.